Auf unserem Roadtrip sind wir mittlerweile in Wisconsin angekommen. Wisconsin ist bekannt für zahlreiche Brauereien und Harley-Davidson, die stellen hier ihre Motorräder her. In Milwaukee fertigt Bucyrus außerdem Bohrgeräte und Seilbagger für den Tagebau. Wir schauen uns gleich einmal das Museum von Bucyrus an und haben danach exklusiv noch die Möglichkeit in die Fertigung reinzuschauen. Normalerweise sind Kameras hier unerwünscht, für uns wurde allerdings eine Ausnahme gemacht. I'm a fourth generation employee. My great grandfather brought the family down from northern Minnesota and began work here with the company. Um, my family has combined about 450 years of service. The museum has uh, opened in January of 2009, so it's pretty much in its infancy. Uh, so that makes it about a year and a half it's been open. Um, we have a lot of displays of models. We have a, an operator cab simulator, which allows people to actually go out and dig some rock. Um, we have a lot of neat artifacts here. We have a, an original uh, serial number plate of one of the shovels that dug the Panama Canal. It's a great museum. This facility primarily manufactures our large electric rope shovels, the 495 series, which are the largest electric rope shovels made in the world, and they're also the market leader. The uh, largest piece of equipment that Bucyrus has ever manufactured was uh, a drag line that was called Big Muskie, and it was manufactured in the 1970s, and it weighed over 15 million pounds. Big Muskie was operating coal mines in Ohio, in the United States, and it was uh, decommissioned in the 1990s. It was a victim of its own size. As the mine depleted its reserves, Big Muskie was too large to move. Our business does about $4 billion in sales uh, right now, uh, roughly 20% EBITDA. So quite a big uh, mining equipment manufacturer. Uh, the area that we are, we're the largest player. We have uh, obviously both product lines, the electric shovels and the uh, hydraulic excavators through the Terex mining uh, acquisition. So now we go from uh, the RH40, which is our smallest uh, excavator, all the way through the uh, RH400, which would be our largest hydraulic excavator, which ties in very well with the electric shovels, which is sort of the high-end side of the business. So from a, a $700,000 excavator to a $25 million excavator, we basically offer the whole line, and it's a good complement of products uh, that we can now offer. About 20 to 30 percent of our business is in the U.S., which is still quite a lot but uh, basically 70% of our business is uh, worldwide. So the emerging markets play a very, very big role for us. We, we sell a lot of equipment into South America. We sell a lot of equipment now up into the oil sands, which is a new market for us. Also uh, Russia, or the former Soviet Union, China, India. So wherever there's mining, we are now uh, uh, present. We see a lot of potential in the emerging markets. We see a lot of potential also in Australia. Forum 24 TV Construction in Motion